George W. Bush just dropped everything to rush to the hospital, here's the tragic reason why, when it comes to class, you just can't get classier than our former President George W. Bush. Not many of us will ever forget where we were and how we felt the morning of September 11, 2001. That very moment we heard that we were under attack. At that moment, most of us knew our lives had changed forever. That once the smoke cleared, at least for a very long time, life wouldn't go back to just business as usual. Many of us had no idea what to do, how to react. I as a business owner didn't even know if it was okay to open up shop and go on business as usual. All TV stations were showing the same thing, the towers falling, over and over again. When MTV is showing news for four straight days, you know things are dire. But at least for me, there was one man who made it all clear and who made me feel it was all going to be okay. President George W. Bush led us in a time when things became so dark that we couldn't even see in front of us. For that, I will always be grateful for him. The moment he went on that mountain at Yankee Stadium and threw out the first pitch for the 2001 World Series he showed all of us that everything was going to be okay again. He made it okay, and patriotic, to keep living again. And what better way than to watch the most American sport there is baseball and the Yankees. Although President Bush left office over eight years ago, he still hasn't forgotten our brave men and women who he sent to war to protect our very existence to this day he still visits them at the VA hospitals on a daily basis. Conservative Tribune reports, George W. Bush made a surprise visit to wounded veterans Former President George W. Bush has been one of the most consistent supporters for wounded veterans across the country, and he proved it again recently when he surprised a group of them in Texas. Bush, accompanied by House Speaker Paul Ryan, visited the Adaptive Training Foundation in Dallas to speak with the heroes about their injuries, their recovery, and their service, according to KUXAS. The foundation helps veterans with life-altering injuries regain strength a journey that can be painful and difficult, but undoubtedly made better by knowing that their former commander-in-chief cares enough to visit and encourage them. Upon meeting the veterans, Bush offered a very simple, yet powerful message thank you. These vets, some of who were depressed early, say, I am going to battle back, and I have hope when I meet people like this. It's just remarkable, Bush said. And I am thankful for the people that dedicate their lives to helping the vets transition. I feel a lot of positive emotions when I come. However, Bush doesn't aim to simply meet these heroes, but through the Bush Center, he has connected veterans with jobs, therapy, and other services that can add to a veteran's stress upon returning from active duty. So I always wanted to meet him. I just wanted to see him, just see him in person and thank him, the wounded veteran said. On that unsuspecting day at the Adaptive Training Foundation gym, Colin got his chance. I remember him, but he doesn't remember me, Bush said upon seeing Colin again, noting that he wasn't sure the veteran was going to wake up from his coma the first time they met. The former president praised Colin, calling him a good man who he was proud of a sentiment that was reciprocated. When I saw him, I was like, awesome. I love that man, Colin said. If I could go again to war, under his command, I would do it. I am really proud. I am proud to serve under you, he continued. I am proud of every scar, every injury, Colin said. And if I could do it again, I would. Former President Bush is revered by the men and women who served under him for a reason he was an incredible leader who cared for the men had their backs, above all else. They believed in his mission because it was the American mission, and his patriotism to this day, remains unmatched and unquestioned. The fact that he has continued to support our veterans even post-presidency says everything about his character and his dedication to our country. Let's contrast W to Barack Hussein Obama. How many times has Hussein visited our wounded veterans since he left office? None. Please share if you agree George W. Bush is a class act. Please do not forget like on videos, and subscribe, and comment because your voice matters, and visit our page on Facebook, and like them, and follow up. And thanks for watching.